Bastards All Day, Bad Waves is a radio show based in reality. And the views and opinions of on-the-air personalities do not represent Q4 Radio and are solely for entertainment purposes. You see, this broadcast includes Bastards with Adult Language, Bastards with Adult Themes, and Bastards with Partial Nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Pete mother ass. So if you're a bitch nigga with ass delicacies looming in your crusty ass from dangling participles and real shit, call the show directly or turn the channel. Fuck you. Lord Jesus, it's a fire. 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 Exothermically speaking, got a handle on the shit I'm Bill Nye. My ignition temperature is getting too damn high. Ask me for a light, I'll give the how and the why. So when you say it's lit, all I can think about is fire. Reverse full atomic rearrangement. Why so literally? That's what lit means to me. Drop it off today's enough material. Just talk about the club and shit and how we always get it. Reverse double weak, double bond in molecular oxygen. I give up. Fire, 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 fire. I'm going to fire you. It's lit. on the land listen nathaniel to you ladies and gentlemen it's 11 something on a thursday that means it's time for you to get your body wet to some bad waves mm. now let's go around the room because this is juking today we on some <laughs> we on some bullshit nathaniel let's go around the room and see who we got and when i say go around the room i mean every person in this mother sucker uh kick it off with one of you people who are usually here every week what's up it's oh, Derek. Hey. how you doing oh hey. amy <laughs> got in first oh my bad uh hey it's amy schwartz what's up amy schwartz 
Who? Uh, who else? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just looking at we you. Have like, new, uh, we have a new guest in no, the no, studio. No, no, uh, no, no. no. I, I was <laughs> one. Uh, like uh, Warren looked oh, no, like yeah. he, he came from like she's gotta have it like that outfit. Oh oh well, no, oh, no, 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 gotta have it. Oh, you gotta have it. Oh, you gotta okay. have it. You, you came up in here looking like Filipino Fonzie. Why you playing with me? Hey. That's, not even, that's not even an insult though. That's the problem. I need to find, need to find something so mean cool. to say. <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, hi, this is Leia the player, the Frisco player, uh -huh. but I retired. Oh. I retired. I'm married now. I'm married. I'm married. But you're here. For oh, sure. Uh, and I am Warren Phoenix Johnson. The correct pronunciation of my name is Big, Big Bad Warren Phoenix Johnson. Johnson. You guys like that shit? You like this guy? The Asiatic black man's back handling business. I didn't say it like I had said it last week, though. It's the Asiatic black man's back hands handling business. Straight That's stole it. that from a battle rapper named Loaded Lux. Uh, so we also have some other people in the building. So any of you other people in the building, feel free to jump up on this microphone. Yeah, Again, here. dead air is uh, wretchedly disgusting. Yo, what up? It's Chore Boy for the people. I've been here before, but we're out here repping for Handsome Naked, and we always repping for Beloved Gang, baby. We happy to be here. Gang, gang, gang. Yo, it's oh! Brad from Handsome Naked, the one who never talks. So I'm glad yeah, I'm Brad, the first. No, actually, that's about uh, Yeah, it. this yeah, is Eric this and Chore. Oh, <laughs> go, go. The most talk. Yeah, yeah, we, we do, do all the talking yeah. for Handsome Naked. Mm -hmm. Brad is back in the chair. But he's the most talented and everyone knows it. Okay. All right. Oh. Who else we got? And I'm Peter. <laughs> Yo! Hey, Peter! Peter Kremitis. Now, ladies Peter and gentlemen. Parker. Woo! Now, that's a uh, chore boy for the people representing that uh, Jamprov swag. Oh, excuse me. not uh, They haven't been Jamprov in over a year, I think, <laughs> is the <laughs> <that> name. <laughs> Yes, uh, representing for that squad as well as BCMG. Uh, no, uh, I'm not even saying that right. What's happening? This, <laughs> damn. This is uh, this. I, I, I'm venturing to say that this is an actual morning zoo that we have in here. Oh. Zoo. Yeah, no, we wilding. Animals. animals. No, we, we wilding the hell out. <laughs> Peter Kremitis representing that bastards of the underground. That's uh, bastards of the underground. Every third Thursday, you can see us at the Laugh Factory in okay. Crossbreed Comedy, hosted by yeah. the Matt Shedamon. T. Uh, so shout out to Big Peter and Handsome Naked's got a new song they just the, the, the first song that you heard was the new song they just recorded that like two days ago handsome naked's been touring the country they've been blowing up in poppington just like bubble yum and poppington a and a grown woman's mouth cut me off in the middle of my <laughs> analogy. Exactly. That's exactly how they was popping. Poppington 2 this Christmas. <laughs> All right. Poppington. So let me tell y'all what's going on today. We're going we're gonna to break y'all off with a little bit of this news. Our new segment is known as You, you May Have. Because you may have heard it and you may have not. Then we're going to break your ass off with the Hakamon Hookup, where we hook your ass up with a job lead. Come and get it, you mangy cats. Meow. <laughs> Then we're going to have the ins and outs, our open forum relationship segment, where we answer some of your adult questions in the most immature manner, uh, that's specifically me. And uh, then we're going to close out with Derek Slayline's segment, Ayo hey, What Man. That's where he sees something on the news on a street corner, makes him do a double take like a black man in the 80s, seeing martial arts happen in a movie for the first time, and make him say, Ayo hey, hey, What Man. <laughs> But in between all that, we're going to break your ass off with some of this music. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Bastards All Day. Bad Waves on 1680 AM, Q4 Radio. That's Q4.org. What's that number to call, Warren? Damn it! Damn it, I was doing so good. 312-985-7834. Ladies and gentlemen, call in. That number is 312-985-7834. Uh, since I've already said the outro, Derek, break yeah. us off. Don't be scared. You're listening to Bastards All Day. Bad Ways on 1680 AM, Q4.org. Beloved gang, baby. Ooh, beloved gang. Took off in the rover, I popped an Addy in Addy and Akron, and then the cop pulled me over. I closed my eyes, saw the moon, closed my eyes, saw the tomb. Wondering if I'm gonna make it, I know that folk like me low. Mama ain't raised no fool, even though she ain't really raised me. Young boy from the Midwest, I don't let no face me. You can talk that shit, man, talk that shit. you can talk it. I'ma get to stepping, I'ma get to walking, I'ma get to rolling steady, steady, heady, heady. Last cap might have broke a levy. Now I'm here on this side of town and this life hitting pretty heavy like. Pretty heavy like. 
It's the coffee and soda. I took off in the rover. I popped in Addy and Akron, and then the cops pulled me over. I closed my eyes, saw the moon. Closed my eyes, saw the tomb. Wondering if I'm gonna make it. I know that folk like me, Lord. It's the coffee and soda. I took off in the rover. I popped in Addy and Akron, and then the cops pulled me over. I closed my eyes, saw the moon. Close my eyes, saw the tomb. Wondering if I'm gonna make it. I know that folk like me, Lord. 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 It's the coffee and soda. I took off in the rover. I popped in Addy and Akron, and then the cops pulled me over. I closed my eyes, saw the moon. Close my eyes, saw a tomb. Wondering if I'm gonna make it. I know that folk like me lose. You're listening to Bastards All Day. All day, all day. Bad waves on 1680 AM, Q4.org. Beloved gang, baby. Ooh, beloved gang. All day, all day. Once again, in zone like Donkey Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, we back with our new segment, a little segment we like to call You May Have. Because you may have heard it and you may have not. Leading off will be our dear friend, Amy Nico Schwartz. Break them off, Amy. All right. So from Yahoo News, we have an interesting story. A man stole a Ferrari, banged it up, messed it up, and then he got caught asking for gas money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. What? <laughs> Ferraris take a lot of gas. I didn't think this one out. I hope he didn't go to Costco but to what? get gas. Wouldn't you just, like, leave it? Walk away? Right. No. Or... You can't walk away from a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> but if he banged it up, I assume this was a joyride situation. Yeah, just... right. So, man, if a joyride doesn't end with you walking away with that car in flames blowing right? up behind flames. you with the putting your sunglasses on in slow motion, like, what, what mm-hmm. are you even doing? Mm-hmm. Can I have some? Maybe that's maybe that's why I need the gas money. Like, gotta fill it up. <laughs> He's like, it then he explode. can blow it up. Wow! If you couldn't get together like a gallon of gas money, right, two forty-five or whatever come it is, on, now. man. Ain't nobody about to give him nothing with a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> you get your fake homeless broke ass out of here. <laughs> You're just Free like ride. that. On the real. You're just give like that dude. Gas. That you know. Everybody. Leia was talking about this one week about the fake homeless people. Yeah, fake homeless mm. people. There's there's a few actually. Um, there was there's one um, oh, specifically <laughs> right by uh, I think it's it's uh, before Lawrence or after Lawrence uh, exit on Lakeshore Drive, like we were shooting something and uh, Ramon was supposed to be a homeless Drake and then he was in the corner and the guy started talking to us and he was like yo this this is my corner I was we're like you know oh. and he and he was so drunk by like but I'm not really homeless I have a condo we're like what <laughs> it's like this is, this is my job. So don't don't take this. I was like, no, no, we're not we're not begging for money. We're just shooting for what? You gonna pay half? For the government? Pay half? <laughs> wow. Fake homeless. That's all. No, uh, every now and then my my boy John Stossel will get out there and he'll uh, he'll have something about like he'll he'll confront some person who's like begging for change and he'll be like, but you're not really homeless, are you? And the guy's like, no, leave me alone. Uh, and uh, apparently these guys are making bank. Yeah. There's no tax. Some of them. Serious bank. If you and, can uh, make a hundred dollars a day, right? If you stand there, a hundred <laughs> times thirty is what? 
Do you figure it out? Don't be asking me. The <laughs> hell you think you're asking? Math. <laughs> what I'm saying is that uh, I ain't been to elementary tax. school that's, in a long time. No, oh, what's the answer, Lair? What is the answer? Three grand. That's good work ethic, not a single vacation. Yeah, day but you know days. what? The thing is, that's that's not easy work either. Like you have to convince Cold. people. Yeah. Unless you just have a sign and you're like, "Hey, give me." And and this is not to delegitimize the real people who need help and who right. are homeless out there, There's but. A lot. Uh, Trying to get money from people is not that easy. There was a guy in the train once that gave this monologue, and I was sure he wasn't homeless, but I was like, that was a beautiful monologue. You had so a half, a tear, <laughs> half a tear in the corner of the eye. I was like, yeah, you, you need to audition for some stuff. He deserved it, yeah. I also, you guys don't realize that like to do that job, you have to really commit to being ugly all the time. Ah, <laughs> and smelly. Yeah. It's not hard for some but, of us. Yeah, some but, of us have been doing that for free. No <laughs> there's, there's literally, like, on Michigan Avenue... Uh, you know, I've been here for like, I don't know, 10 years, and it's the same people in the same mm-hmm. spot. Like one lady, she had like a fancy purse. I'm like, you're not <laughs> homeless. You have a brand new coach purse, and then she had her kids. So I felt bad for the kids. And uh, I, oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what I yeah, did maybe. was I, I – Maybe it was no, a gift. No. No. I, there's, I, I printed something. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> no, I printed something that actually helps women. I said, this oh, is yeah, a yeah. place. Okay. And mm-hmm. then you know what? The next day she's there. But there's mm-hmm. three of them always, like one corner right by uh, in front of Disney. You're not talking about the like of the... sculpture, the living sculpture. We should, no, 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 no. <laughs> we should not have gotten you started. Can we, can know, we get back right? to the news? Oh, go, go also, back. Can, we, news. can we stay on this and never <laughs> complain about bankers ever? No. Yeah. No. Let's keep it moving. Ooh, wow. But nice Zing. work. The real wow. Thank criminals. you, Peter. Peter's no. woke. <laughs> Bringing it back down. <laughs> Peter's conscious. <laughs> There you go. Uh, on the news, Jay Hud, Jennifer Hudson, our dear Jennifer Hudson. Oh, wait. Back to the is, hard-hitting stuff. Yeah. It's breaking up with David Atunga, the wrestler. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Oh, They've been together oh, for like... No. <laughs> Atunga. I, know. No. I feel so bad for him. Do you know how long he committed to this oh. engagement? Years. He committed to that engagement. Well, how are you engaged for 10 years and not get married, though? He was in an engagement longer than people are in marriages. Exactly. Like, yeah. He was on it. Why and uh, she apparently, uh, I'm not sure it's 100%, but she's cheating with her producer. Oh. Uh, his name is... I don't, that sounds very uh, libelous, perhaps, Leia. Yeah. Is that your Alleg- opinion? Alleg- allegedly. 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 Not, <laughs> not the opinion of Q4 <laughs> Radio or yeah. Bad Waves. Yeah. She did quote, my favorite artist is Smally Music. See, y'all even... No, even know who he is. Oh, well, Y'all that gotta confirms look up it. Mally Music, trust <laughs> me. Mally Music is the dude, and there is a picture on TMZ.com. <laughs> this is so relevant to my life. <laughs> I need this. Why? Peter Kermit is here. More. Why? Give me more sugar. <laughs> more Resident sugar. gossip hound Peter Kermit is here with us today. You know who I blame? I blame that, you know, that unholy American idol. That's who I blame. <laughs> yeah. yes. Ruining the values of Chicagoans oh, everywhere. No. Their, their relevance, <laughs> the American Idol, I mean, they broke the, the mold with relevance to start with, and now mm-hmm. all the rest of it, I mean, come on. I don't watch yeah. that stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> that just beneath you? <laughs> That's beneath you? <laughs> That's I, what's beneath you? I like j Hud, you know, but I don't like oh that show. Uh, but, but you know what? If they're paying me $20 million, well, I'll be a be judge. Hard to turn who down, who, yeah. uh, who, who is Jennifer yes. Hudson and who's the other guy? What? I've never heard of either of them. Yeah, you don't know Jennifer Hudson. Wait, you don't know David God. Otunga? <laughs> Why would I? What? Where have you been? He sounds like a <laughs> warrior. In a cave oh with Matt Lauer. Oh, my God. What? Segway. Matt Lauer. Matt. <laughs> what were That's you thinking? Segway? So the segue is Matt Lauer. Uh, he segue. got fired. He got fired. That was a that segue. was a segue like a tour guide through hell. Okay. These, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> hell. We are in hell right I now. I asked who those people were, not who pulled their penis out. Oh. Uh, one because of them that you answered a, a question, just not mine. Jennifer Hudson is a wonderful singer. Yeah, she does not have a penis, and if she did, it'd probably be bigger than yours. Boom! Oh. What's the sound saying? Talk to the ham, baby. What's the sound saying? That Peter didn't deserve. I can't. I can't even respond to that. Oh my god! That's okay. We understand. <laughs> Handsome naked chore boy, y'all all right over there? <laughs> you guys are in the music They're business. You, might... <laughs> you guys are in the uh, music business. You, you probably have something to say about this, J Hud. I enjoy your music a great deal. 
<laughs> you heard it. You heard it here first. Off off brand message from Handsome Nick. <laughs> you heard it here first. 312-985-7834. Once again, that number is 312-985-7834. Talk some shiz Nathaniel with the beloved gang. Ratata. Keep it going. Okay, well, so Matt Lauer got fired. And yes. uh, I bet he's got a bigger penis sexual than Sexual harassment. <laughs> he did show it. He did show it. To, yeah, he showed out it. there. Like, he has, a, a like, a, a dungeon. Like, you know, there's a man cave. In the corporate <laughs> office, there's oh, a, wait a, a lock. Wait right? a minute. That is Back up. Yes, yes. yes. No. So, Matt, approved office sex true. dungeon. Who does that? My Matt Lauer? Not yes. my sweet little Matt Lauer. So he has, sweet like, Matt Lauer. Sweet Matt Lauer. <laughs> it, it, just look. What does that article say sweet? whether or not it's, like, a, a turning bookcase? And he has, like, a book he pulls Ooh. out? <laughs> it's a button, like a Bond villain. Like, pfft. He also had a I button don't... under his desk that let him lock the office yeah. from the inside without oh. anyone knowing. What? Oh. And then when he'd use the room, there would be also a sound that would play that would go, Where in the world is Carmen Matt Sandy? Matt Lauer? <laughs> all right, okay, no, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I stepped all over your bed. You, you, you just know that Al Roker put him up to this, though. Right? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Al Poker? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Sorry. Oh. Is, is this a real this, thing? This, it's a real I, thing. I, yeah, That's this why real. it's so absurd. And he also gifted a sex toy to one of the coworkers, employees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do not give a sex toy if you're working for, you know, not well, one. Well, was it like one of those hell? gift exchanges where you don't know what you're going to open? Well, he... he uh, <laughs> he's like, no. surprise. To be fair, a lot can be used as sex toys these days. So, like, was right? it really a toy or was it just like... A hairbrush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I think, like... You know, there's a lot of people that feel conflicted because people like love Louis C.K.'s you know, as an artist, but hate yeah. you know what he did. Obviously, yeah. I don't feel anyone's conflicted with this. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's terrible at everything. Like, we hate this guy. <laughs> he's like a sex criminal or something. <laughs> yeah. What did he do? Not did he? Good. He wasn't the weatherman. Al Roker's no, the weatherman, Al obviously. No. Weather he had man. no shame. He wore Baywatch outfits and talked oh, to he women the- and was just a big old douche. Was he the? <laughs> I never Can we say that on air? Oh, oh I but don't know. Maybe. This was the, t- the like Today Show, right? This uh, he was like the Today Show, and a lot of talented people quit the Today Show because of him. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, and and uh, way better Curry talented was people. Uh, actually Curry, uh, Steph Curry. Mm-hmm. No, no, not, not Stephen Curry. <laughs> oh. My main man, Stephen Curry. He knows you. He knows me. You know, we, we go like this, you North know, Carolina. I, I, Aisha. And, Wait, y'all go uh, like what? <laughs> you know? She did her hands like almost peace, almost <laughs> cross. <laughs> you know, he lives can in people the see us on the radio? <laughs> they absolutely can. Uh, there's oh. a camera right there. No, people can see us in the lobby. <laughs> That's as far as they can see us today. But continue. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no. So no to sex dungeon, not in a corporate setting, unless you're paying like if it was like a SNS unless you're piece. paying right. you heard it here <laughs> first <laughs> Leia Ava is down yeah. with paid sex dungeons not free at news not stations <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not, not at the news station if no. it's outside like uh, uh sex dungeon outdoors paid Leia is with it <laughs> if you are into S&M hey yeah, no to each his own that's what you, yeah, you or know her what? Uh, or her his or her <laughs> or <laughs> transgendered <laughs> S and M, it's it's all over. I just want to know if like Matt Lauer, I could totally see him bringing people into his office and talking in his news voice and being like opening, opening the door behind him with a button and being like, "Welcome to Fifty Shades of Matt." And then she's like, (laughs) then he just stares at her for a while and she's just like, like really confused. And then he pushes the button that locks the door. (laughs) They just they just look at each other. And then she's like, is this what would you do? <laughs> Are the police going to come help me? Is anyone? And then Chris Hansen comes out from another yeah. door. <laughs> Shout out Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just worried in all this that, like, people are going to start putting limits on where we can have sex dungeons. And I think that's sad for society. <laughs> and that's the type of stuff Leia likes. That she, she into putting hey, limitations hey. on sex dungeons. If you're happy, you must do the sex dungeon. I'm just saying. You, I, you I, must? I bought a bus. Some people are into it. Uh, okay, do you have any oh, man, more news? What else? Yeah. Uh, last, last news. Um, segue. Uh, <laughs> no, segway, segway, segway. it doesn't work that way. You can't just say segue. Yes, you can. <laughs> and that is a segue. That's yes, not you how can. it works. I know a comedian that actually says segue on stage when he's performing. They're a comedian. You're doing a news piece right now. <laughs> uh, serious uh, news. For the this people, is serious news. My fans out there, you know how I roll. Segway. Trump oh, angers dear. UK with 
with basically his far right retweets. He retweeted some far right stuff. Yeah, that's right. And I think that's real Classic. silly. And and <laughs> yeah. the parliament was that arguing. And they're like, we don't <laughs> like him. He should be arrested when he comes here. And you know what? As a president of the free world, United <laughs> States of America, you should not be retweeting far right stuff. That means, you know, right. like. The, what, what basically you're saying is that you don't like Jewish people, you don't like Asian, you don't like black people, you're like, because it's far right. They don't like anyone that has some color in their skin or like people of color. Have you been paying attention to the, <laughs> to uh, to our the president recently? <laughs> so this is what this is what tipped you off. <laughs> no, 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 no. This recent tweet I, is I, what I, got you. <laughs> no, I've been pissed about it. this. Is good. Guy. I think this is going to be the scandal that brings him down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah this one. Yeah. This I is the say, one. I will say about the UK wanting to arrest him. Wouldn't it be great if they just netted him when he showed up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be so <laughs> off the plane. Like, we just, oh, that'd be awesome. Just, yeah. Which country's going to be the first one to do it? <laughs> Got your trick. Pre- President Trump, not not as good of a voice as Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> no, no, you are really good at this radio stuff. <laughs> Brother, that's it. Call us. Got to, not like El Perez. Wow. <laughs> 312-985-7834. Once again, that number is 312-985-7834. Call to talk some shiz Nathaniel with all of us beloveds. Uh, so that's all for the news, or that's all the news y'all have. Derek, let me hear you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my part of the news. Now, this is very hard-hitting news, very provocative news, very critically disclaimed news, and I don't go to any news source. No, no, no. I don't go to CNN. I don't go to MSNBC. I don't go to ABC, DFG. I go to one place and one place only. And that's worldstarhiphop.com. Worldstar. Let's get into it. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is an 86-year-old woman in Philly who was arrested for bank robbery. Wow. Now, Emily Coakley, armed with a 35 and a walker, uh, <laughs> stepped up into a bank and robbed th- that mother sucker for $400. Now, <laughs> believe it or not, she is a retired correctional officer. Uh-huh. Now, I personally feel that's one hell of a way to be reacclimated with your old work environment. <laughs> like, some of us could just go visit where we used to work at. She's like, I'm up in the strappy. I'm letting the blicker blast. Uh, sit down, Grandma. 400. 400. <laughs> 400. That's it. 400. That's all she needed. No, well, she, <laughs> she made a withdrawal earlier in the week, and then uh, she was like, they shorted me $400. Instead of going back and, like, asking for it, oh. she's like, I'm about to get this walker real quick. Let me get my dentures in and this gun and its own trick like so principle <laughs> right exactly you know you can't break old school y'all that's old school uh, so anyway attorney general jeff sessions our dear friend uh who we hate is being sued by a 12 year old girl alexis bortel now uh wow. she has gone she's uh she's an epileptic and she has gone from having seizures every night to being seizure free thanks to a cannabis oil she now lives in colorado and believes that we all should be able to Find the medicine that uh, cannabis can, uh, you know, cure what ails us with. Respect. Respect. But she believes that Jeff Session doesn't like weed. Hey, guess what, sweetheart? He doesn't like minorities either. Uh, no, I, <laughs> seriously. And like, you can't get Jeff Sessions on the stand. Have y'all seen Jeff Sessions mm-hmm, in court mm-hmm. recently? Like Lil Wayne. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall. Exactly. <laughs> Jeff Sessions sounded like a teenager sneaking in the house and his parents called him. Like, where were you at? He's like, I don't remember. I don't recall. Am I talking right now? <laughs> look, 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 y'all. Like, Beauregard's little known body should be beaten by this child who is larger than him. <laughs> and I hope that she sheds the streets with his Confederate colored blood. <laughs> and then we'll, rem- we'll remix the phrase that his people made. You know, it ain't drugs, y'all. It's a child's epileptic medicine. I hope that, uh, I, I hope I get this insult right. <laughs> I hope that he can close his mouth and then his nostrils and then blow himself apart from the inside. That's what I was looking for. Can't stand you, Beauregard. You know I hate you. Uh, All right, moving right along. I heard that he's got to make it back up to the North Pole for uh, for Christmas. Anyone? Jeff Sessions? Jeff Sessions? I think Jeff Sessions have a sex dungeon. Oh, uh, that, that, okay. that, that, that's where your mind went to. You're really on this sex dungeon thing today, aren't you? Right so, behind the door. I don't know why he's so anti-weed. I feel like that's that's what the little guy needs. 
Like, <laughs> like <laughs> little guy. Because he's religious. I don't recall. <laughs> All right. It's because he's. It's, it's because he's, he's racist. Let's that's right. right. That too. He well, doesn't, that, like, I mean, he doesn't know, like any colors. The foundation of of marijuana laws in general are racist. Uh, a lot of our drug mm-hmm. laws. Oh, You're listening to the oh, uh, Cremitas Corner. Three one two nine eight five seventy eight thirty four. That's three one two nine eight five seventy eight thirty four. Hit us up. Uh, Talk to me about drugs. <laughs> so moving right along. Mike Hughes of California is a 61-year-old limo, limo driver who is taking a rocket to space to prove that the Earth is flat. <laughs> now, he's founded by the research by Research Flat Earth. Mm-hmm. That is an actual company. He's going to take pics of uh, the Earth to show and prove that the Earth is flat. Interestingly enough, he tried this before and injured himself. <laughs> <laughs> Owie. All right, looking for flat Earth, he, uh, he crashed flat on his face. Like, you know, thank you very much. Black Don't go chasing waterfalls, y'all. That's how you drown. My favorite part is he's using science to disprove science. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Exactly. Thank you. He's got to have it. Playing the system against itself. That's a classic. You know, <laughs> yeah. What well, I mean, he's he's going up in a non-NASA commissioned yeah, rocket. What could possibly go yeah, wrong? Right now. <laughs> wasn't that a, what, what, wasn't that like a, oh man, who, it wasn't McConaughey, but it was some like inspirational field of dreams. Like I'm going to build a rocket in my backyard kind of movie like that came out. Rocket Man or something Yeah. Like do you remember that movie? Yeah. It was yeah. like a. Some kind of Rocket Man movie. One of those. Down home. <laughs> it wasn't Iron Man. <laughs> Iron Man. So close, Peter. So <laughs> close. Stark? At yeah. the astronaut farmer. Oh, anyone? Is that what it is? Anyone? Deep cut. 312 <laughs> so, yeah, talk-, talk about the astronaut farmer. <laughs> no. Derek has a vast <laughs> array of uh, irrelevant knowledge. All right, moving right along. <laughs> it's not that vast. <laughs> <laughs> it's so vast. You beat an entire bar at trivia once. I watched it. All right. Um, I hosted it, actually. Uh, all right, moving right along. A new documentary is coming out, ladies and gentlemen. A documentary uh, about robots that men can date. Uh, now, a woman is seen saying it's a it's scary cool. It's also scary scary. Now, this this documentary is entitled uh, "The Robots Are Coming." Apparently, so are the horny, lonely, and bored with masturbation and having active bank account people as well. Everybody wow. coming. <laughs> that, was, that was just rolled off the tongue, didn't it? <laughs> it really did. It really did. It really did. Just, just like fellatio. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. just too bad that Jay Leno isn't on the air anymore because uh, that would have been like. <laughs> oh, that would have been perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I totally I, wrote I, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I so, mean that in the best way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, there was a, a bearded Bosnian Croate general, uh, yeah. S- Slobodane Projlak. He was sentenced to 20 years. Are you about to step on my gag here? What are you doing, Peter? Look at me look at you and be patient with you. Okay. I just want to talk about sex robots now that you've given me the opportunity. Oh, well, go ahead. No, please do. And I'll go back to this. I don't know. It sounds like not a bad idea. I'm glad that. Uh, uh, there's a, all right, let's move on. There's wow. A, there's, a, there's a sociologist that believes it will be the end of civilization. It, it could yeah. possibly yeah, it could be. be. the end of times. I, I don't think that's the end of times. I think when they become our masters, that might be. <laughs> yeah. the, and then they realize we're worthless. That might be the end of times. 312-985-7834. I mean, this is just another way for them to collect and scan and upload your DNA. Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't think about it like that. That was deep. (laughs) I just figure they'll be like, humans And then they have it. They'll just kill us all. Huh? Yeah. Well. (laughs) What are you saying over there? (laughs) This is. No. Can't you just pull out still? It's still a robot. Yes. It doesn't have feelings. Yes, no, you, that, co- you could, but why would you do that? Well, you robot. paid for this robot. Why would you Does do that? Does yeah. can and, and the like, robot get pregnant? No. Then no, you can't. <laughs> Who's cleaning that robot though? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna robot, have to clean it yourself. The other robot. The person that bought it. The robot made, and that's when they're gonna turn on us. <laughs> like Ro- like Rosie from the Jetsons. I, I, I would assume that the. <laughs> I would assume that the robots come with like a removable liner, like a replaceable liner. Oh my god, that's brilliant! Oh. Right? That's brilliant. Has, has no one thought of this yet? It would be self-cleaning. 
Well, it, it, <laughs> you got to Amazon Prime them new bags. Every <laughs> <week>. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, handsome uh, naked is in the building. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Some of the robots have feelings now. The, the one that they're making, the sex robot. If they're the right robots, they give you all the feelings. <laughs> <laughs> in a dungeon. I'm just over here thinking about merchandising potential, like, you know, stuff that you could sell when you're on tour and some such, like... Um, I if think you're a young it, sex icon out here on the land. You stickers, know? $2. T-shirts, 15 Sex robot hour, $75. Yeah! <laughs> $75. Well, I'm, I'm starting a metal band and calling it Robot Sex Dungeon. <laughs> and Leia's the lead singer. <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> she didn't say no. Uh, so if, if you have a sex robot and your friend has a sex robot, could you be swingers and switch robots? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I think that it's does a, work. Yeah. It's called a swing bot. Swing bot. Swing bot. <laughs> swing bot. Uh, com. Bluetooth. All you gotta do is sync them together, maybe, and then you got something real <laughs> weird going in the dungeon. Yeah. Oh. What if you sync the the sex robot to Amazon? Uh, Amazon uh, Bro, Alexa. You wanna, you wanna, do you want to come over, uh, get a sixer, watch the game? Uh. Hey Alexa, I need sex now. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, get me off. <laughs> Sliding down for I don't know Felicia. <laughs> Felicio on toes. No. Dude, bring your robot over. We can watch them. No. Uh, you know what? I feel like this is a, a lot. Yeah, we're off the rails. Back, uh, back to it. Back to the hard-hitting stuff. Much. No, no. This is very mature. <laughs> All right. Uh, so a bearded Bosnian Croat general, Slobdian Prozlak, was sentenced to 20 years in prison for war crimes against Bosnian Muslims. Now, he stood. This is, a, uh, this is crazy. This, like, this. this is a straight-up layer segue, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> segue. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> He stood and said, honorable judges, Slobda Projak, that's talking about himself, is not a war criminal, and I accept your verdict with utter disgust. Then he took a shot of a liquid that turned out it was poison. That's right, everybody, all the men of parliament started chasing, now running over to him. Now, as Ricky Bell, Ronnie DeVoe, and Michael Bivens kind of never said, can't trust a big beard and a smile, he drank that poison. Poison. <laughs> Hold on. I ain't done yet. He got hit with a dub for war crimes. He couldn't fathom in his mind doing that time. Oh, Lying in jail, crying in jail. 20 years deep, he was already old, probably going to be dying in jail. I would have drank that poison. Poison. Ooh. Poison. Damn, I felt good about that bit. My man. That, that joint had me sweating. I'm up in this. That's a good one. Thank that, you. That's way better than like the half a Socrates bit I'm working on right now. <laughs> All right, and closing out with documented out. idiocy. My favorite. A man was recorded sitting on the sidewalk with a face with his face deeper in a woman's butt than the boots of a Chilean man on an early work day in a mine. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Chilean whoa. Miner Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Timely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Was that 08? <laughs> oh, no. Hey. <laughs> Deep cuts. All right. I'm, I'm old school like an 86-year-old bank Ow. robber out here. Uh, so, yes. That's a, that's a whole different level of curbside service, y'all. Uh, <laughs> that will do it for me on news, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Woo! That was our new segment, a little segment we like to call You, you May Have. When we return, we're going to hit y'all up with the Hakamon hookup. That's where we hook your ass up with a job lead. Come and get it, you mangy cats. Meow. But before we do that, we're going to break y'all asses off with some of this music. You are listening to Bastards All Day. Bad Waves on 1680 AM, Q4 Radio. That's Q4.org. Derek, break them off. Shazam. <laughs> what? <laughs> To say you sedate me is simply understating the troubling truth. It makes me feel so crazy to say you're uncertain. Tells me you're too immature and makes me feel like such a burden, baby. You can try not to mind. complete 
keep me with guarantee you leave me I mean it isn't true but the point of fleeing to love in this era can be such a rare affair just to look around you at this culture of polygamy you can try not to I love bus chef from my heat. I leave against dead in the street. I run up in your crib, spit that where you sleep. Then I push you off the bed, get hair from your freak. And I don't care if she horny tonight. I tell her hit the stash box, give me only the white. Make shells to crack heads against phony with pipes. And I ain't got no friends against phony and shites. For the rollies and ice, I fuck around and leave you holy as Christ. You want beef? Hell no. When I let them shells go, you leave you red as Elmo. Then let the air blow all in it. This I breathe through like my 4 5 when I see you. Put a hole in your face that the against can see through and turn your brains into seafood. Call it red lobster. Lazy out of head mobster. If you a live beast, I'll make you a dead monster. Taking fed offers. Snitching on the street. I'ma kill your punk ass. Now you stiffin' in the street. You ain't know I had hitmen in the street. Remain calm. I'ma give your how the works. I got guns like James Bond. Heat like drag on. Cause I light a flame on. Get it hot like the devil. I'm past scar face level. I touch more snow than shovels. Empty out. Heavy metal than reload. I got walk by the kilo. Fiends hit the line like free throws. I rob niggas like Debo. Only one that hold out though. I get my money first before I throw out coke. Fuck junk. Treat niggas like cigarettes. Light them up and blow out smoke. Then they stumble and drop. The street turns into the niches. They mumble the cops. He turns to get the business. If they fumble the glock, you turn sweet when I hustle your block. Come through. Wife beaters showing muscles and glocks. It gets hectic. Four five bus for fuck like a detective. Only rob niggas like my gun is sexist. But I will slap a bitch if I feel disrespected. Yo, I'm not going lie that this actually bad, but I still get more pieces than a maxi pad. Tell a freak, go ahead with a nasty yes. I'm a beat scout, fools on my meat. Get more yeah, than grease. Get yeah, when I'm awake. Get yeah, when I'm asleep. And you just wanna pay attention, dog. I'm a creep like TLC. Now it's freestyle time, so I let it be free. Like Philadelphia Freeway. Again, Mr. H is the DJ. Je 
shit, 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 shit. Yeah. Yeah. We back on the land, Liz Nathaniel. To you. you. Oh. Those sweet sounds that T.I. is doing my job means it's time for the How Come On Hookup, where we hook your ass up with a job lead. Come and get it, you mangy cats. Wow. Word to Wood Harris. That's right. That is it? <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, okay. I put people on, understand? <laughs> Streets is happy. Who are we putting Everybody on? Everybody can eat. Now, these jobs just aren't for people who are handsome naked. No, no. Oh, these aren't jobs just for boys doing chores. No, no. These jobs aren't just for 86-year-old women who ain't scared to pull the strap out and run up on you. No, no. Whoa. Who they for? Everyone. They not for my big cousin, little cousin, uh, big homie, little homie, my Amy Nico Schwartz. Who they for? Everyone. They not for them Peter Kremitas or the Peter Kremiti. That's the cr- appropriate plural. Who they for? Everyone. Word to Gary Oldman. <laughs> Now, Shiley Hakimian hooks us up with job leads, and I butcher her name every single week. Ha, ha come on. <laughs> and today we have one for the American Dental Association. Oh. Ooh, right. ADA. <laughs> yeah, I probably need a job over there. Y'all, never mind. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> with this busted ass grill. All right. Uh, um, never mind. So uh, <laughs> the description is um, you are a manager of digital content and writing. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, the manager CPS digital content and writing supports the ADA's goal to help members succeed in their practice through the creation, editing, curation, presentation, and distribution of world-class practice management information and content in a consistent ADA branded voice. Yeah, so kind of like wow. yeah, kind of like how Chucho was talking earlier in that voice. Uh, <laughs> the position has the following minimum requirements. Every time they say minimum, it's always <laughs> yeah, yeah. like uh, have one deal. leg longer than the other. Uh, like, it's never heard. Twenty it's, years of dentistry. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. it's never minimum, by the way. Uh, all right, so uh, you have to have a BS slash BA. A minimum of got five. the BS covered. Whoa! Whoa! Where's your sound sting? Sound sting yourself, daddy. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Amy. Amy, Amy, <laughs> Amy gave me that, that South Side Low End sound stage. <laughs> <laughs> that bootleg Cabrini Green sound stage. <laughs> All right, a minimum of five years working in uh, digital communications or marketing, experience with digital writing and content management, direct experience with development, writing, and editing of online content. Blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Willing, right. willing to work weekend meetings uh, twice Ooh, a year. Oh, no way. Uh, is that the only thing that... <laughs> yeah. And weekends? That, I don't think so. That's what deterred you from this? That's what... <laughs> Peter? Lie is what we're saying. Uh-huh. Lie when you apply to this job. Ooh, it rhymes. You're not... Qualified. Cut your teeth. Lie on your resume. Ooh, that's nice. Cut your teeth. Uh, Peter, thank you for talking with a full mouth of almonds yeah. into the microphone. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Cannot wait to listen to this back and be yeah, utterly disgusted. That's my almonds fault. On mic, everybody. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you sure? Okay, great. All right. Uh, they don't tell you how much you get paid, uh, of course, and you will copy and paste. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't read this. <laughs> oh, here, here, here. Oh, no, I didn't read this. There's no way to apply for this if you're a regular person. Because they're, all right, I'm going to try my best to do this. Because uh, this is not going to work, though. <laughs> Thank you. So you have to go to the American Dental Association's website. Ladies and gentlemen, get your pins and pads ready, all right? You know, uh, Peter, go ahead and eat some more almonds. He's going to die. All right, all right. All right, while you run and get your pin and pads ready. Yeah, we're going to go to the Thank you. So, uh, now you'll, so now you'll go Somebody the, is going to choke for the sake of a bit. Yeah, all right. And then so. everyone laughs when you ask for help. Believe me, I've been there. Uh, so now you will copy and paste the below link if you would like to share this job with someone. Or actually just go to their website. Oh, that was a lot less scary. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You didn't have have to be as grossed out as I made you uh, as we stalled for time. <laughs> nope, you just go to uh, their website and you can just click apply to job. You can go to the American Dental Association's website and apply for this. And that is the hot come on hookup where we hook your ass up with a job lead. Come and get it, you mangy cats. I put people on, understand? The streets was happy. Everybody could eat. Word to Wood Harris. Now these jobs aren't just for Brad Kemp's, Eric Orens, or Aaron Chucho Perez's. Nah. Who are these jobs for? No, these jobs aren't for young Dan Raw Riggs or anybody just repping that beloved gang, 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 gang. Who are these jobs for? Everyone. These jobs aren't just for people that eat almonds and talk with their mouth open and look directly <laughs> at you in the face from across the table as you're recording your broadcast. Who are these jobs Everyone. for? Everyone. 
Word to Gary Oldman. When we come back, we're going to hit y'all up with the ins and outs, uh, the open forum relationship segment. But before that happens, we're going to hit y'all ass up with a little bit of this young ass music. Amy, uh, try to do the outro, Amy. Let's see what oh, we're doing. oh, 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 yeah. Nailed it. Listen. <laughs> you are Let's listening to Bastards all day. Bad <laughs> Waves on 1680 AM. Q4 Radio. That's Q4.org. Derek, break us off. Leia, say something weird. Meow. Got it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it like a jackrabbit. Uh, it is time for uh, our relationship segment, the ins and outs. This is an open forum uh, segment. Anybody in the room can answer these questions or say whatever they want about them. We hit up Facebook and find out what people are thinking and feeling, and they hit us back with some questions. So our uh, first questions come from our uh, first question come from. Can I get these words out? My <laughs> I don't know. Can you? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still turned up from the news. Uh, Stephen C. asks, "What is romance?" Uh-huh. Does anybody Whoa. know what romance is? What is romance? Romance. Um, you want, what you want? Romance <laughs> is when your husband cooks for you. Ooh. Right? Or a romance is when um, a girlfriend um, gives you a head. <laughs> A head. <laughs> nice way. A human head. I mean, let's be honest. I think I think real romance, real romance is that feeling you feel when you get I, home, you know, you light a few candles, that's right. you pull out your phone, you turn on the Bluetooth, all right? You sync up with your sex robot. <laughs> and you have a romance. chance to really get to work. That's that, real romance. That is real romance. <laughs> that's real romance right there. That's it. That's EO, ladies and gentlemen, from Handsome <laughs> Naked, answering your question uh, very precisely. Hot tubs, champagne, Ooh, rose petals. Tubs. The nineteen oh, eighties Lamborghini Countach, <laughs> white. You're leaning on the dash. on the on the dash with a nice like red leather Whoa. sleeveless jacket, and you Wait. pull your sunglasses down as your uh, your lady comes up, and you're like, "Hey, want to go for a ride?" Wait, what's a Countach? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something I want to slide in. What oh my, no! I can't believe you went what? there. Well, I, I can't went where. You can't believe it. Yeah, you got a new favorite word. <laughs> <I> Countach. <laughs> The Countach is a real model of the Lamborghini. Yeah. Look it up. I had a Matchbox Countach back Countach. in the day. Yeah, Countach. Yeah, you can know. say it as many times as you want Gosh. on the radio, too. Countach. College was a big Countach for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like having some Countach in my bed. Uh, Countach for the Puntash. Oh, uh, Le- I'm so happy oh, you're back. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we missed this highbrow comedy. Uh, you know a- it. You know it. Amy, were you about to say something about romance? Oh, I don't know. For me, it's uh, it's snowboarding on, on a crisp, crisp afternoon <laughs> <laughs> with my dude. Oh, nice. You know, you know what you're into. Oh, I, li- I I know a thing about romance. I like having sex. Romance is oh. when I slide <laughs> oh boy. my oh, veiny pipage into a musty freak hole. That's romance for me. That's what I like. And I don't care if we've been dating two years or two weeks, two days or two hours. That's romance. <laughs> Man, don't even get me started on my birthday, y'all. I had a good birthday. That was very romantic. Ooh. Yes, I think dear? the answer is don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Mm. That's romance to you. What is romance? Oh, Jesus. What is, what is romance? But yes. Uh, no, nice. nice work. Uh, Peter's been working on that bit this morning. No, <laughs> it's not true. He wasn't. All right. I think we answered that one sufficiently. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chris. Caring, caring about someone else and taking the time to show it. Bam. Yeah. Taking him to the doctor. Cooking him breakfast. Massages. I don't know. Those things, right? That's it. Uh, yeah. I, w- I would say that nothing. I honestly more... think this is, no. this is my real answer. I think that romance... <laughs> What? Yeah, he was talking, but go ahead. One at a time, one at a time. (laughs) I I was just going to say that nothing's more romantic than a a 10-year engagement that ends in separation. (laughs) Oh! Wow, that was a body slam of a bit. David Otunga, WWE. (laughs) (laughs) That's how they wrestle. (laughs) What are you about to say, Brother Peter? Uh, Real answer, not a bit. I think, like... When I think of romance, mm-hmm. I think of like, uh oh, like my wife has a fever. I am holding her hair while she while she pukes. Mm, deep, like deep I'm romance. thinking like, you know, <laughs> like Sweaty it's, it's just like, like uh oh, we're That's in the jungle what and I'm going to hold your hands. <laughs> this uh, this is all involving a. Well, I almost swore. <laughs> nice, nice. I almost swore. Good there. catch. Um, <clears throat> the ugly and hard stuff. I think that's what romance is. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, that well, is. No, that's nice. love. Romance yeah, is love. more like. 
you get to the bed, sensual. You know, you well, you eat, you do whatever. I understand Love that, and I stand by marriage. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Peter just did something crazy. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to tell y'all what happened. Wow. We can't tell y'all what happened, but Peter did something crazy. You, you should have known. Don't say it. Don't. Nobody say it because uh, we don't want to blow up the spot. Everything's fine. Nothing just, happened. Just know something made a noise and a sound did, cue Did happened. you not want me to say that Peter No, I don't want you to what? know. No, 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 I don't no. want you to say anything that would just happen. Yeah. This is bad ways for a reason, okay? I'll say, I'll say romance is playful, right? It can be the heavy stuff. It can be the sexual stuff, but it's got to be playful and fun, caring, right? Oh wait, all and wrapped in one? Yeah, yeah why not? It's got to have some whimsy to it. Some, I mean, you got to plan it if you're gonna roast. Whimsy, whimsy. Or something, but where yeah, you get the street slang you from? Gotta keep, it loose. <laughs> gotta keep it loose. Exactly. <laughs> if you program in exactly twenty percent whimsy to your sex <laughs> robot. <laughs> You end up with a wonderful experience, and it costs seventy five dollars. We'll see you at the merch booth. <laughs> merch booth. Hey, Snake. Hey, honey. Just trying to be romantic. <laughs> so it's creepy, like calliope music. Yeah, that's yeah. Not what happened? It's gotta be some like that's jagged edge romantic. or something. It's whimsy. <laughs> that's whimsical. That is whimsical music. <laughs> <laughs> to Amy Nico Schwartz. Insulted. How dare you call me a clown? <laughs> straight, straight hood in this piece, whimsy. Honey, before we start, I gotta grab my I gotta grab my slide whistle. <laughs> get some whimsy in the bedroom. Yeah, I grab my slide whistle before I get whimsy in a contage too. All right, uh, let's have a contage for the puntage. Let's keep it moving, shall we? Uh, Chris F asks. I'm in a long distance relationship and I haven't met her yet, but I know Ooh. she's not a catfish or she's not catfishing me. Am I being catfished? Wow. I te- and uh, he added, I texted her on three different apps because he didn't Skype. Whoa. Wait, I know wow. I'm not being catfished. Am I being catfished? Yes, yeah. that was exactly what he wrote. Hmm. By the way, Chris Fair, look him up. He has a laser shell. Yeah. Gang, gang, gang. Oh, I know that dude. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> we're all in the same gang together and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't listening when you said the name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of masked it. I said Chris well, no, it's just like it's been, what, an to hour and 20 minutes of just you and screaming on a microphone. <laughs> so at some point it just becomes noise. <laughs> oh. oh. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Beef in the morning. I'd like to just say that the rest of Handsome Naked has no interest in starting beef. This should be a pretty good battle. This means getting beef. I love food. Oh, it's Italian beef. Beef on my cheat day. Uh, yo, wait. Wow. So this you talk about my yelling, but you've been doing that horrible voice <laughs> that, that sounds like you and Peter Kremitis. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> okay. I'll have you know, I, you know, if anyone out there is listening, I I have been through puberty. <laughs> I Let's did it. To talking about Slobodan Pershek. That was fun. <laughs> Great. Oh, my you goodness. Drank the juice. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, you're being catfish. catfish. Yeah. 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 Obviously. I say I'm not being catfish, but am I being catfish? If Ray Allen can get catfish, anyone can get catfish. <laughs> <laughs> although, Ray, uh, although Ray Allen had a bill. Who is Ray Allen the bar? He was the recent oh, Ray uh, Ray. three-point record in the NBA. Yeah. If, if you got Ray Ray, then you're going to be able to get anyone. He was yeah. the recent celebrity that got catfish. And the, the, Birdman was the Bird first one, the, the well, basketball yeah. player. Birdman, yeah. Birdman come on. <laughs> But that was a that was some heinous catfish, you know. Like Shorty got his number, the other person number. Who was the, they met up. He busted her down. She went back to where she went. Then sent new messages from Alaska or something. Like that was some. Oh, no, 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 Canada, Canada. Like Canada, yeah, that was Canada. A, yeah, that was like some espionage catfish. But wait a minute, do all do all made up girlfriends come from Canada? Is that <laughs> yes? Is that <laughs> uh, by the way? Shout out to Danielle. Uh, I'll yeah. Talk to you on Instagram. I met her at yeah, summer yeah, camp. Real. Yeah. That's an actual person who I talk to Instagram who lives in Canada. Uh, not romantically, but, you know, we, we definitely trade some messages. Uh, I met a girl at camp last summer uh, from Canada. We totally did it. Uh, you can't find her now because she's in Canada. She's impossible to reach. Um, yeah, but it, it was great. It was romantic. We did all the romance stuff. You know, just... Uh, was, she, was she very polite? Yeah. <laughs> Georgina the politest. <laughs> oh, silly. Oh, thank you. She's there was there was a lot of a lot of sorries. There were a lot of a lot of saying sorry going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's move this on. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not yelling. Am I yelling? No, you're good. I don't can't even tell anymore. Really, you can't even tell if you're yelling. <laughs> oh, Come on. Oh, <laughs> hey, all right. We on the land. 
that was oh, a, that was a, that was like whoa. the funniest thing you said in the last hour and change. And you get paid to do comedy. That's I, a, I know because I haven't had any time to get on a mic because you just been. Rah! Oh, oh. So, sorry. Let me do this bit. <laughs> this bit that totally landed. Next question. Not at all. Okay, so moving right along. Uh, Jake Schneider. Gets. What? No, we about nope, to say nope. something? Jake Schneider. Jake, yeah, shout out to Jake Schneider. Gang, gang, gang. Beloved. Bitcoin Nation. But look, um, that was a yell. <laughs> that was definitely a yell. I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I can't not yell that when somebody says it. I'll be- Half of the rest of Handsome Naked, please keep yelling. I like it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. The real the real ones who are Handsome Naked. <laughs> Chucho is ugly naked. All right, let's move along. Jake Schneider said. <laughs> ah! Wow. Two uh, for two. Do, you, do you remember that time? No, Peter- I don't remember when Peter did anything. <laughs> it's going down in this Biz Nathaniel. All right. Who's the lug nut? All right. What lug nut? What are you talking about? All right. Let's move it along. It's uh, 2017. He asked, what's the appropriate way to ask someone on a date or did celebrities ruin it for the rest of us? So let me let me go ahead and help you out with this young brother because I actually I actually went on a date before. Um, <laughs> man, what you need to do is, uh, you know, have some courage about yourself and kind of watch out there. Someone fail. <laughs> Someone fail. Everyone, everyone's all right. Uh, so what you need to do is uh, have some courage. You know what I'm saying? You need to you need yeah. to walk up. And, and honestly, I can't lie to you. I'm bogus. I like to cheat. I like to know this person is already into me before I ask them on anything. And uh, that's what uh, cyber sex is good for in uh, Internet dating. <laughs> you know, so you already know that they like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I do that like in not online dating. Like I straight up am like, I can tell she likes me. I'm going in. And so then you just ask. You just ask, do you want to hang out? Blah, blah, blah. And so, no, celebrities haven't messed that up unless you are a celebrity yourself, which <laughs> I'm pretty sure at least three of us in this room are. <laughs> and there's way more than three of us in this room. How, <laughs> how would celebrities have ruined uh, dating? Have they? Uh... Oh, because people be having sex dungeons that Leia like, like oh, she be oh, uh, she be uh, shouting out. Yeah, but record, none of like that dungeons. was asking someone on a date. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's one of those things where it's like, like, there's a pretty clear line between asking someone on a date and having your office lock by a button and you have a sex dungeon. Like, there's, you know. Right. Are, Why are people so afraid? Are you sure there's a difference? <laughs> like I've heard people be like, no, you can't even talk to a lady. It's like, no, you just can't be a creep and assault somebody. <laughs> like, it's pretty simple. It's like, it's like, no, just keep your penis in your pants when you're talking to someone in public. I don't know. Yeah. Right. It's, it's like people need like a book. Like, Can you tell yeah. me exactly what I need to do? Like, Just be a normal person. <laughs> but I, but I get books. it. Hi. <laughs> I'm Peter. I've been through puberty and have even had <laughs> sex with adult consenting women. No! And sex robots. And it's like the um <laughs> the what? I, <laughs> Spit it out, Junior. Lost. Lost. No, I'm lost. It's the like it's it, it is like a scary thing to do. Like I uh I've gotten to the point finally where I'm just like ah well she might say no and whatever and then the high five and go cool. Let's yeah. yeah, there hang are billions out. of people on the planet. But, <laughs> but I get why, like, people hate criticism or rejection or anything, like, especially in, sorry, our, we kind of live in a selfish culture where mm-hmm. anything where it's like, you're not amazing and you don't deserve everything you want. You know what I mean? Like it's or like, why is your value on something like that? You know what I mean? Because everyone just wants different strokes, to different folks. It's not a contest. This, different strokes. That, that comes from somebody who's like married. <laughs> <laughs> like you, somebody already wants you. You're okay. out of the. You're out <laughs> of the right. game. Right. You can't. Right. You're not you in the game. You can't talk about this. Somebody care about you. Somebody wants you. Don't nobody want some of us. True. Shout out to <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday for your birthday. I'm gonna leave early in the morning and get on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> He's at work. He's at work. I'm oh. not a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Amy and Nico Schwartz will be at somebody's yuck yuck house this weekend. Am I no, right? No, no, Elbow Room Tuesday. Elbow oh, Room yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Booth Comedy Hour. I love that Woo. place. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, t- yeah, Elbow Room Tuesday. Beloved, Beloved. dang. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like a <laughs> reflex. Uh, <laughs> so we moving. Oh, so to answer your question, uh, Jake, just don't pull your penis out in the process of asking. Mm-hmm. Don't have a don't have a sex dungeon. Uh, don't take a picture with your hand on anybody's breast. You know, there's a mm-hmm. lot of things that you can not do that seem kind of obvious, but I be, guess not. And also, I would say be specific. Like, like I think, what? like, <laughs> don't go like, hey, you want to go out sometime? Go like, hey, this Friday I'm doing X at this Ooh, time. Oh, yeah. Do you, would you like to join me? Like, that's a lot. Yeah. That's Invitation. better. What's yeah. the X, yeah. the actual uh, A concert. 
Anything. Ooh. I'm going to go see Brain on Beer, hosted yeah. by Leah Ava. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Plug, plug. Yeah, that, and yeah. Ramon Smith. And who, Thanks for the plug. Ramon Smith, who's that? Oh, your husband. My husband, <laughs> yep. Oh, right, right, that I hooked you up with. Got it. All right, that's all. <laughs> yes, he did. I'll never let that go. Uh, it's, it's the only good thing I've done in my life. All right, moving right along. Uh, Big Will, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Big, Big Will. Will. Gang, yeah. gang, gang. Will, Will, Will. Big Will asks, is sex overrated? And Big Will, I'm going to say, no. No, it's not. That's, a, that's an easy one. Next question. That's an easy one. That's an easy one, Will. Uh, that, 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 Peter, do you have something? I see you leaning in. Okay, I'll tell you what. I, I, love, I love sex. I love sex. Uh, sex is great. There's nothing like uh, sliding a lo- mushroom-headed love stick in, in between <laughs> pulsating, juicy love walls. All right, so <laughs> that's way worse than any swear word yeah. what? that I what? could have said. Somehow. That was like... What? <laughs> that was so much about? worse and graphic what are you talking about? than the F word, oh. which I can't say. Oh, right. I don't understand. This is, uh, this is a family yeah. show, Peter. We can't have that kind of talk. No, who's family? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, you're talking about the Manson family? Like, what? That sounded like Carl Sagan talking about the female reproductive organs. <laughs> what? I was just trying to explain. There I was perched near the pulsating love wall, <laughs> and yeah. I thought to myself, we are all but... Pale blue dots made of star stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then the and then the the the, pul- yeah, the throbbing veins slid past the passion clicker. Like that's awesome. I exploded like a supernova. The wondrous ectoplasmic labial landscape. Yes, and that's when I let my blicker blast. Uh, what? Uh, and I spit all in my hand like. <laughs> yes. And I really got to town. That's not how he ends the story. No, it's not, no, no, it's not. No, you paint. The terrain with your uh, passion paint. I don't know. I was doing really wow. good. <laughs> yes, yes. You know. You're, yeah, good. You're very well, now. <laughs> you said you're what? You're getting very sci-fi now. Now you have a sci-fi adult novel. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, with sex robots, right? Yeah, yeah. It's with the robots. I mean, that's what romance is. Am I? Am I right, guys? <laughs> yes, yes. Covering your lover, uh, you know, with. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. No, you, you leave it inside, of course. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? Is sex I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't met that robot yet. Uh, well, I'm all a, right. I'm going to say yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll say, depends. Oh, I'll say it's overemphasized. Hmm. Oh. Emphasized. But not okay. overrated. Oh, please. Yeah. Ejucidate. I mean, elucidate. No, you know what I mean. Like, it's... Uh, like earlier, I was talking about all like the ugly hard stuff that like I was calling romantic because oh that's, yeah, that's like one of my descriptors about sex. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it, no. All right, so gotcha. Ugly and hard. <laughs> Our ugly oh and god. Oh god. <laughs> I fell into that trap. Uh, yes. Um, you know, like that's the stuff that's going to make a lasting relationship. That's a, it's a you know just to get uh, a little mushy, but it's like it's true. It's mm-hmm. some people. Uh, I think especially when I was younger, like I get into relationships and think like like oh. This is how I get laid. I get into relationships, right? Uh, well, but you then, don't have to get in a relationship to get laid. Yeah, that's yes. the point of what I'm saying. Oh, Leia. Uh, no, not me. I'm married. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't do none of that. Well, not anymore, huh? Look, dungeon sex no, person. No, no, he put the no, laid no. in relationship. Oh, Eric Orrin, EO, ladies and hey, gentlemen, Leia. handsome naked. Gang, I also gang, put gang. the ship in. <laughs> gang, so gang. He puts the ship in it. Are you done, Peter? Yeah. Are you? I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, Peter Kermit is done, and this part of our show is done. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the ins and outs relationship segment, uh, our little open forum, and it was really open. Just like uh, flapping. Like, yeah. What? I was like, going to yeah. go. I was going to go, but I, you know what? I think I've already gone too far. Yeah. And trust me, it's hard to pull back or pull out. Uh, so, coming up, uh, uh, you're going to get hit up with Derek Slayline's segment. Hey, yo, what, man? But before that happens, we're going to hit y'all asses off with some of this music. You are listening to Bastards All Day. Bad Waves on 1680 AM, Q4 Radio. That's Q4.org. Derek, break us off. Beloved gang, baby. <laughs>
once again, it's on Rakata. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Derek Slayline segment, a little segment uh, that we like to call You May, May Have. I nope. I completely <laughs> tricked myself and all of you. Thank you. For <laughs> yeah, what happened? That, that, that was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, my God. It was the worst Scary, thing. like a Nazi train. I, just, <laughs> I programmed you all like Cameron has done us all to hate Mace. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek Slayline. Uh, Jesus. What's happening today? This is Derek Slayline. Uh, oh, my God. It's happening. Slayline. This is Derek Slayline segment. Uh, a little segment we like to call a hey, yo what man now that is when Derek sees something on a street corner on the news makes him do a double take like a black man in the 80s seeing martial arts happen in the movie for the first time to make him say hey yo what man oh my goodness was that a ninja star wait why are you back flipping in a fight are you a Jesse White tumbler oh this karate working these are three little ninjas fighting grown men it don't make sense Although that's ninjutsu. Slay, <laughs> take it away. All right. Well, uh, I know you guys have probably all seen the holiday train, the CTA holiday train. You guys are familiar with this? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> have many opinions. Apparently they, uh, yeah. <laughs> I saw just the other day, this was what brought this up for me. The holiday bus is a thing now. Oh. Right. Not the same. Now, I've never actually been on either <laughs> one of these things, and I'm not necessarily against it. But this is the thing. I feel like these are just a cheap way to kind of buy us off in terms of a PR move by the CTA. That's, oh, my God. You believe the same thing as me. I think, <laughs> I think it's propaganda to distract us from the fact that we're paying the CTA all this money. We have one of the highest CTA costs in the country, and we're getting federal funding. But where's the money going? Every year the CTA is like, we're broke, we're broke. Oh, here's a holiday train. Get holiday on the train. holiday train. Now this is like a, mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. it's like a shiny little bauble that the CTA, and I feel like corporate entities do this a lot. And Peter, you'll get a chance to talk. One second, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I can always wait for you. <laughs> uh, it's just a, it's like a minor concession that you can do to kind of make a, like a fun or a cool thing for the public to have. But we're fun. just so easily bought off by these small gestures when there's a huge, bigger pr- uh, problem with, you know, the bureaucracy and the CTA. They're always saying they're broke. We pay a ton of money. They jack up the prices. They mess around. They they privatize the uh, car, the Metra cards and, or Ventra yep. cards. Mm-hmm. So it's not even publicly controlled anymore. Um you know, this is and, and Chicago as a city does this a lot too. I mean, think about the parking meters from a few years yes. ago. Same thing. Uh, so I feel like we're not even getting. I mean, it's a fine line, but I feel like we're not demanding enough in terms of our cool, shiny distractions. Oh, getting into the heart of big train, big train. Yeah. yeah, I'm taking you down, big train. <laughs> or they're just doing something that kids will like. They might do I mean, it. It is pretty. It fun. is. It's fun. I'm sure it's fun. I haven't been on it. I. I. Some people are very serious about catching the holiday train, about like yeah. you know picking you it, and they tell you where it's going to be and what's. I mean, what do you do? You wrap some streamers around. You get a Santa guy you get in there. Candy. You do. My favorite part is the el- like one time I was on one and there was an elf and he was probably six four. He was gi- the biggest elf I've ever seen. It was pretty fun. He gave well, me real candy. elves all are are tall. Yeah, <laughs> from, yeah. From Tolkien's universe. They all- <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a real elf. A real elf. <laughs> right. And this dovetails neatly into the other thing that was really aggravating me this week, and I'm trying to trying to tie these two things in. Mm-hmm. Segway. There used to be... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a service at my bank that allowed you to bring your coins in, and you could uh, do their Coinstar, you know, their version Ooh, of Coinstar, yeah. without having to wrap them up, and they discontinued it Ooh. for no good reason Coinstar. that I can think of. And this is a corporation, I mean, you talk about, like, you know, giving people a few minor concessions, give them a holiday train, something shiny to distract them and have fun with for a little while. Finally I can't even get... bankers. <laughs> this yeah, is what's... Yeah, this I'll is the true back. problem with the banks, <laughs> yeah. is they won't even let my, my, my coin, uh, you know, my, I can't even empty my coins yeah. in, a, uh, in a Coinstar machine and w- without being charged for it, and now I have to roll them myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, banks don't care about poor people. They don't care they about poor... They make a huge amount of the profits off of poor people. You know, right. like just like uh, overdraft fees and uh, other things like that. Well, they, they don't care about right. you getting your coins right. together. And their I'm saying, though, I think we have all know that banks are mostly just, you know, yeah, like you say, they don't care evil. about poor people. They're largely more evil, <laughs> largely more. Well, yeah. <laughs> and on and on and on. I'm saying on the most basic customer satisfaction buy PR level, all you could do is buy me off with, uh, you know, keeping your Coinstar machine 
in there and not charging me for it. But they can't even do that. No. Nope. Give me the holiday train version bank. That's what I'm saying. Give me my holiday <laughs> train at the bank. Once a year. Yeah, yeah once even a once year, a year. You have coin year. coin trade in day. That's true. You really <laughs> only people FBI around the block with then. jars. It's like <laughs> <and> pigs. <laughs> yeah, piggy bank. Yeah. yeah. No, actual pigs. <laughs> Full of quarters. <laughs> I use a real pig. I feed him all year, and then we kill him. We 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 kill him for Christmas time. We and then that's like the kid's we present. The we butcher him. And and bacon. It's like an old. It's like an old world kind of you know agricultural uh, agrarian society mm-hmm. kind of uh, Christmas. You know, you you fatten up a pig, you slaughter it as a family, you butcher it. Maybe you make some uh, nice lo- uh, slippers out of its, uh, its skin. An and, agrarian uh, Christmas. And you get a, a couple of you, you, you get a, like, six dollars worth of nickels. You know. Mm-hmm. But uh, buy me off, bank. If this is the best you can do, I'm uh, very unsatisfied. Yeah. Yeah, the banks need to step it up. All right, we're going to open a, a bank ourselves. Bitcoin just hit $10,000 <laughs> this week. No. Uh, I don't know. Bitcoin, wave yeah, of the future, that's possibly. Right. That's right. Uh, anyone own Bitcoin? or, or Jake Schneider it? does. Oh. Gang, 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 gang. Yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's I own a bit of coin, I <laughs> and I wish the bank would have something for me to put my bit of coin in to make it paper. Derek. Give me the magic coin to paper machine, bank. I'm talking to you. I wouldn't have even thought of this if it weren't for that silly Santa Claus train. <laughs> yeah, you can see the direct connection, right? I can. I once saw a magician with a bit with a coin, and it was terrible. You could <laughs> yeah. see everything. Oh, bad man. magician. I'm still mad about it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bad Santa bad, three. Bad, bad magician. Bad magician. <laughs> Get uh, <in> there. <laughs> So customer service organizations, if you want to get away with the truly evil and corrupt yeah. and uh, nonsensical Step stuff that game. you're trying to pull, put a better face on it. Hire me to put a better face yeah. on it. Uh, hire anyone that might know anything about interacting with a regular public and not some sort of financial. You know, you were talking sex robots. We have financial yeah. robots behind the scenes mm-hmm. uh, and sort of metaphoric uh, financial robots. These people that are obsessed with uh Money. You know, money, Jeez. money, and finance, mm-hmm. and uh, these are the guys making the rules. Spice it up a little bit. They are put robots. a put a clown put a clown hat Drums. on my oppression, please. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> totally agree. Put a clown <laughs> hat on my oppression. Do you think that they uh, closed those uh, like coin converters because of the fake homeless people kept using them? Oh and wow! Not opening up accounts. <laughs> my goodness. Uh oh. Taking it all the way back. <laughs> no. Dude, I want to. This go is to a her. real question. This is a real question. And how does Batman figure into this? I want to have a I want to like have a civil rights speech where I say put a clown hat on my oppression like that. Yes. You need to you need to do something with that quote there. Yeah, and then here I and here I come from behind a curtain. I'm just very serious heavy speech It's like, "All right everybody, are you ready to laugh?" <laughs> I yeah, like a reverse a reverse yeah, but the Wizard of Oz, at least yeah. he had a, a nice a right. uh, good uh, PR, you know. I've actually yeah, played that show before. I've played that show. I'm not playing Je- Jesse-, Jesse Jackson before we went on to do improv made everybody sad and then we got oh, up and we're like no. everybody oh. ready to laugh <laughs> waka 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 I, I, I followed a poet once that did a poem about her actual rape and then they're like now you're a comedian <laughs> and I was like ah hello <laughs> make some noise <laughs> there's a story man uh, don't you hate airplanes I think this is a Patton Oswalt story where like He's, uh, <laughs> this was earlier on in his career. Some guy comes up to him. He's like sitting in the front. And he's like, he's like, Pat, 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 come up, come, come here, come here. Can you do me a favor? And he's like, oh, all right, man, what's up? And uh, he goes like, I really want to propose to my girlfriend. I'd really like to do it before you said, uh, would you let me do that? And he and Pat goes like, uh, sure, man, that sounds good. So right before set, this guy gets on stage and he's saying like, you know, uh, Patty or whatever her name was, like, I love you. We've known each other for a long time. And her face just like sinks. Oh, and he no. goes on for a long time, like just professing his love for her. And he's like, so, you know, I'd be really honored if you would marry me. And she goes, you know, the answer is no. Oh, <laughs> now yeah. you're comedian Pat Oswalt. <laughs> like, wow. Derek, wrap us up. Uh, yeah, put it. Put a clown hat on my oppression, please. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, my God. That's one of the best <laughs> yeah. quotes ever. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for Ayo What Man. Derek's Slayline segment, where they see something on the news on a street corner, makes him do a double take like a black man in the 80s, seeing martial arts happen in the movie for the first time, and make him say, Ayo What Man! Ayo, man! What's up with this train with the Christmas? 
Y'all know y'all bogus as hell anyway, and you can have all the Santa Clauses you want. Santa Claus I. <laughs> By the way, why I gotta wrap my damn coins up? What do you do? Why do you, why do you have a job? And what the hell is this coin machine here for? Put a clown hat on my impression. <laughs> oh my God, that is my phrase of the week. Uh, right. So uh, anyway, we're gonna move right along. Uh, I'm sorry, Brother Chucho, did you have something you wanted to say? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> killer, killer bit. Three one two nine eight five seventy eight thirty four. That's three one two nine eight five seventy eight thirty four. Call in, talk some shiz, Nathaniel. We got a whole gang of beloveds up in here. Uh, you are listening to Bastards All Day, Bad Waves on sixteen eighty AM Q four Radio. That's Q four dot org. Derek, break us off. Beloved, <laughs> meow. Bad waves, you're on the air. Please keep it clean. Uh, can I talk to Warren? Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-
been an interesting month, but um, this is this is one of my favorite things to do in life. So I'm, I'm feeling real good, surrounded by a lot of a uh, lot of cool people. You yeah, know, the gang, you know, yeah. beloved, beloved gang, Itchy Mom or Ricky Bomb. Uh, so I don't know what that means, man. But uh, I salute. <laughs> I he's a good baseball player. And good for him. Sound bite of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm glad you don't know, but you still roll. You know what I'm saying? That's why I rock with you, like the Flintstone feet going up a hill. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> That's that's what's up. <laughs> All day, baby. You know they pulling that car and the sl- slab of ribs on the side. That's how I get down with you. <laughs> that's right. You, you got that. For, you can do a marathon. On if I had those lines, I don't know, man. I'd be problem. Man, I took I an improv class. I took, I took an improv class, man. I got lines like notebook paper uh, before they uh, mm, put the crack mm. rock in the in the thing, and then I don't know. That's how you make crack rock and coke. But I'm doing a cocaine Ooh. and notebook paper Ooh. thing where there's two lines. Yes. And free throw. There we go. <laughs> ah. You jinxed me. Yeah, I had that, I was doing people, something. This is code. This is code, white people. You will not understand <laughs> what we are saying. This is code. <laughs> um, wait, they were. I get it. I get it, guys. Come on. Uh, that, hey. <laughs> hey, hey! I do not want to hear that. <laughs> I do not want to hear that. Point Dexter. Uh, <laughs> interestingly, I love it. Interestingly, interestingly enough, that was his hood voice. <laughs> oh, that was his gangbanger oh voice. God. He uses terms like oh, whimsical, no. <laughs> whimsy. Oh. oh no! Every time he does that, a crip gets his wings. Stop it! <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, so does a dub that I, wanna, I wanted to ask: Did y'all already talk about Russell Simmons? Oh, no, we didn't talk about his sexual thing. Did he pull out his joint, too? Did he jiggle his he wheel around? Is accused, he has been accused by one woman um, as of now. And uh, and then there's been, you know, the other stories with uh, Terry. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Some, some other actor was like, hey, I got abused. And then Russell Simmons said something like, oh, well, did he apologize? And, you know, it was, was kind of offhand. So he, his credibility isn't looking good. Accusations are out there. You know, uh, he, he quit. Um, all of his businesses. What? Um, yeah, he dropped out, and he's just gonna do the spiritual. <laughs> he's gonna take the spiritual walk full time. <laughs> oh my goodness! Not Rusty Sim Sim. Yeah, he went from smoking crack to meditating to being an assault. Oh my uh, goodness! Not 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 old Russ Sim card. <laughs> yeah, Russell Simmons. Do you guys? Yeah, Mr. Like- I'm a, I'm gonna sell you anything. Russell Simmons. Hell yeah. Do you guys think in like five years Macklemore is going to do this song at the Grammys called Forgiveness and all these guys are going to like line the aisles? <laughs> <laughs> that is a very likely yeah. scenario. Yeah, I think that's what's going to They're all going to so. come back and we're, we're going to be like, oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And then they, I hope they cut to Beyonce and she gives them a weird look again, like the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness uh john g uh I'm a, uh, as always it's always good to talk to you uh but i'm gonna have to let you know yeah, yeah. you got any last minute plugs though anything you want to want to shout out aside oh man aside um, from black people <laughs> uh yeah no no i mean i want i, want, I do want to talk about just right now we do need a lot of love it sounds weird but we, we gotta just push the love a little bit harder than normal and i know it sounds very preachy and dumb but I don't know, man. I'm just kind of feeling that way. We're we're in a gang called Beloved, so like you could talk about love all you want. Beloved, beloved. Oh. So you can that love is just fine. Ain't nothing wrong with love. And you're right oh, though. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Oh, okay. Allah rock my heem. Itchy ma. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'll pop mama. some tags, my man. All right. Uh, but John, you want to promote something out there? You want to talk about something from out there? Uh, like, or, yeah, you know, nah, man. It's Minneapolis comedy. Uh, you know, neighbors of Chicago. We up here. Um, my fucking rent's coming up, so you know that's that's a plug. Uh, help, uh, <laughs> John. I think you. I'm not sure, but uh, but uh, I think you said something uh, very colorful, uh, a colorful metaphor. Oh. Spock would describe it in Star, uh, Star Trek Four. Not that I'm a nerd, oh. you know, live long and prosper. <clears throat> uh, so I'm about to let you go now, <clears throat> John. I'm about to let yeah. you go, Daddy. Uh, thanks for calling okay, in, man. and as always, call anytime. You know, I rock with you. Uh, uh, I rock. I'm gonna get a better phone. I'm gonna get a better phone. This is really. I'm sorry. This is really fucked up. I mean, messed ah! up. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Bye. Oh, darn it. Bye, John. Oh, shoot. Okay, bye, y'all. Thank you, John. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that will roll us into <laughs> roll us into the FCC office. Uh, so we are going to uh, talk to Handsome Naked a little bit. What up? Yeah. Yes. Because Handsome Naked's got a brand new song uh, that they just dropped here that we're going to have in rotation. Mm. And uh, that to go in rotation with a bunch of all the other beloved gang stuff, including all of them. Because we got Mad H. Nake mm. on Dizek, Diz Nathaniel, to you. Uh, <laughs> Um, but no, uh, tell us about your next project, some of the touring stuff.
stuff that y'all been doing. Y'all been doing some real cool things. Yeah, we uh, spent last year doing a college tour. We went to a bunch of different states, and now we're sort of focusing on being here a little more often, getting a new music video out every month. And uh, we have a show coming up on February 1st, and we're starting to work with a, a company who's potentially going to produce us a little tour in the Midwest. So, fingers crossed, things are on the way. Oh, wow, nice. nice. Uh, beloved. Beloved. Uh, Chucho, do you got a thing you want to say? No, nah, he covered it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm good. No, I mean, I'm sure that. Yeah, so uh, we uh, we released our last music video a couple weeks ago called Cat, C-A-T-Z. Mm-hmm. You can uh, find that on YouTube, all of our music on SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, our next music video for the song that we just premiered at the top of this show, It's Lit, will be out in probably about two weeks. Yeah. Whenever Less Eric gets done editing Less it. than that. I, I have, uh, I got two six or seven hour editing days, and then that puppy's going to be finished. <laughs> oh, that puppy going to be finished. Oh, yeah, baby. It's going to be lit. Uh, you know, I, I got really disturbed when you said that puppy oh, was going to be finished. I don't know. I don't <laughs> that puppy is going to be finished. I'm not familiar with the nomenclature. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, now, something that I'm sure you hear this all the time. Y'all started out on some, like, regular comedy rap, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, no, even, even before that, because um, we're both comedians, that we started by uh, – doing a two-person improv group and then we wanted to write a sketch show and so part of the sketch show was eric had an idea for one rap song that we were going to do that he wrote the whole song like including what he wanted me to rap and then he knew brad from a a stand-up show that they were doing brad makes all of our uh, beats now and uh and so ph theater at the time theater and so he brought him in made a beat we did this song and then we kept working on the sketch show and we're like you know what? There's a lot of two-person sketch, uh, you know, groups in this city. There's yeah. not a lot of people that are trying to do this comedy rap thing. Let's mm-hmm. kind of spearhead something and, uh, you know, start a movement. Was that what became your first, uh, that first album? The Chica- that this was Chicago even before style? that. Oh, really? Yeah, we because before Chicago Style, we made two EPs. See, I ain't yeah, know yeah, it was yeah. The, re- the early stuff of two was like it was very much, you know, it was less of a music act and more of a sketch act that was musically arranged you know what i mean it was oh. comedy yeah. sketches set to music and we feel like since then we've sort of transitioned to the other right. end of the spectrum so we, more we, we, we started more lonely island now we're more low dicky is what we that's the hope, <laughs> is is the hope <laughs> like, we do our best self-branding yeah. <laughs> I, I i don't know it's interesting because i listen to you know i've listened to the progression of your music mm-hmm. and y'all went from like doing bits to like making like straight up straight up ass songs and then there are some songs that incorporate b- bits mm. yeah you know what i mean like but are still like professionally produced and like bars like i don't know if you've noticed but uh aaron chucho perez has gotten a lot better with his rapping hell <laughs> yeah. have you yes. have you noticed yeah, this absolutely eric, uh, brad kim deep cuts yeah. uh, no okay because because there's a couple of joints where i was like wow he is rapping his ass off yeah when i come in and see me and i'm like whoa and yeah. we play that song it's the one dun, 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 dun. what's that song oh wow that's uh, a tall order oh. I'm sorry I'm sorry huh is that how it goes? Study focus on Hocus Pocus and Paul just posting your face. Both and both. Yes. Back and posting yeah. I mean, yeah. you were rapping your ass off, too. Yeah. Baby. It might we try. Well, yeah, I mean, you were. We try. You were. We try to. You were mm-hmm. rap, wrapping it up like a, like a young Peter Kremitis when he was having sex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much different than old Peter Kremitis. He was getting, <laughs> he was getting whimsy in the coon right. <laughs> I'm old enough to go raw now. <laughs> Oh, beloved, Peter Kravitz, bastards all day. All right, um, now something else that, uh, and I don't want to make this too long, but uh, y'all been touring. Mm-hmm. What's it like? Because uh, you know y'all do a bunch of stuff. Y'all done a bunch of stuff in Chicago. Right. But like, what's it like going taking this act in this particular bit outside of Chicago? It's it's great, honestly. Uh, we. Um, are lucky that we kind of work real well together. Like all of us have very different skill sets. So uh, when like when a problem comes up or when something needs to be done, we don't need to discuss it. We just know whose skill set is that's catered towards. So it's just yeah. like, oh, this is happening. Well, you're doing it. Uh, that yeah. kind of thing. So it's been it's been really and most great of the time the that person is Brad because yeah. <laughs> he does the heavy lifting. Yeah, he. When I say someone has a skill set, I mean Brad has a skill set. <laughs> He's got all the skill sets. <laughs> Actually, Eric and I just like talk like idiots, and yeah. he makes that somehow into something that certain people like. Yeah. Sounds it, real good. It gives you, it also the best thing about being on the road is it gives us a chance to 
just make like we have nothing else to do but make stuff. Yeah, we're we recorded videos. a uh, pilot TV show. Yeah, uh, yeah. We while we were a, on tour, it's a web series like yeah. mockumentary pilot that we have mm-hmm. in a bunch of festivals. We just got one award. We're hoping to get a few more before we premiere, but if we don't, it's gonna come out either way. Yeah, it's re- it's really funny because I think you showed me a little yeah. bit of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's edited. Yeah. It's edited real good. Yeah. Uh, well, th- and now, only two more questions. I yeah. swear, word to uh, the mommy. Just come on. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> word to the mommy though. He, that, Brad knows what I'm talking about over there. Uh, so. You guys started doing this before a lot of people were doing rap in our scene, in our little improv scene. Right. And then now you look up, and there's a bunch of people yes. who are doing it. Yeah. And we, we even a bunch of us start clicking up, mm-hmm. and we kind of, a bunch of us actually, you know, and I and I don't really rap that much uh, anymore. I used to when I was a young man. <laughs> uh, but, um, or when Dan calls me, or you, you know, guys call me, I'll, I'll rap. Yeah, you've been on uh, more of our tracks than anyone. Yeah. Almost. yeah. Really? Yeah. Like a bunch three of four or four? Features. Yeah. No, I think I have. Yeah, yeah no, I, I appreciate it too. I did what I had to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me dust the dust the you know dust my mic off. Uh, I was gonna go dirty, but I, we don't have time. <laughs> so, uh, and I think I've already done it enough. Throbbing mushroom. <laughs> That's a mushroom headed love stick. <laughs> so that's what I said. Thank you very much. Uh, so after like seeing the progression of all this stuff, and then like you know running in our you know with our crew, like do you guys? Do you see the influence that you have? And if you have seen the influence, what do you think it is? I I, th- I feel like we're under no delusion that we're like the first people to do a comedic yeah. rap group. Like that's not at all the case. Like it's it's been happening everywhere else. It's still happening. People are starting this. I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's just that there were a lot of people who were in comedy clubs and, and like in the comedy scene around town. They were very willing to watch an act like that. And I think that may have opened some people's eyes up. Like, oh, we don't have to know, necessarily book ourselves at music venues and go play only music shows. We can do comedy music act in all of the comedy clubs that people are doing stand-up in and improv in. Uh-huh. And I think that may have helped a little because it's like, oh, those are much more obtainable shows for people who are in our community. So we can start there and parlay it into a music presence, which it's, is sort of... See, I feel like we're the parents and you are all like children. <laughs> and not, we have what? paved the way I'm nobody's child. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not. Look, you know, I'm so, I'm so proud of you, son. You got I, this I, radio I, show. No, my, I, I, no. <laughs> the kids on the land can understand. <laughs> the kids on the land, that's Liz Nathaniel <laughs> to you. And no, no. I, Liz Nathacary to some. Yeah. All right. Thackery Binks. Uh, all right. And my, all these Bodines out here. All right, Bodines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my final question is for uh, Deep Cuts Kemp. Now, when you're producing this stuff and you're doing, because you are producing all over the place, like when yes. you are putting music together for for songs and stuff, like what what is not necessarily your process, but like kind of what are you thinking when somebody just says, "Hey, I need a beat." Like I asked you for a beat and you send it to me and we haven't used it yet. But um, like, wow. what are you thinking? Are you like? Oh, I want to put this noise here, or these two guys act like this, so I think their sound would be that. Like, what is what is that? I I mean, it, obviously, I take a lot of draw from whoever I'm working for. So if it's a, a specific sound for a specific person, whether it's a pop thing or whether it's a hip hop thing or whatever. Uh, but like coming from honestly, like the rest of us, coming from the improv and satire world uh, as a music director, I've gotten very good at knowing what sounds sound like. Or I, <laughs> I'm so goofy, but I, what's what genres sound like and what music sounds like. I know how to listen to a song and go, oh yeah, I could recreate this, and you wouldn't know it was that song, but it would sound a lot like it. Uh, so just coming from that world, and then I don't know, just I sort of like to dive in, find that one element of each song that I'm like. That's the thing that defines this song, whether it's some fun synth or some hard drum or whatever. Hard drum. Some fun synth. Some fun so. synth or hard drums. <laughs> <laughs> that ugly hard drum. Weren't we talking about that earlier? <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to do a song live, right? Are you yeah, gonna, we you're yeah, gonna yeah, do so. Do we'll set time. Up. Photo some headphones. Or? Yeah. Now, John, John, who runs the joint, lets us get away with bloody murder. So don't worry about time. If right. we, you know, if you're concerned about time, call oh, me yeah. Doc uh, Doc Brown, and it's Back to the Future. I'm gonna and call you Doc Brown. You might as well, and y'all both some Marty McFlies. <laughs> uh, so, and there's a third person here that the person isn't here, right? Yeah, that's yes. right. This the original track features Chris Red, but uh, you know, obviously yeah. we couldn't get him today, so yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and perform it without. Is he him. doing some oh, SNL oh, thing or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out, yeah, shout out to Chris Red Hell on yeah. Saturday Night Live, uh, gang gang, one of the, one of the first beloveds. Uh, uh, do you think Dan could get up, get that last verse? Dan, you, you I see why not. You're not a freestyle a little bit, don't you? Like is there? Is uh, the, is I, the we verse on we the might track? have chopped it up to cut out the usually third the verse. live usually yeah, the live track the live, only has two verses yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well Dan, can you just look at the mic? Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> the young plug though, and yeah, I'll definitely look at the mic for you. SoundCloud.com/slash Troyboy Raps, Troyboy on all streaming platforms. That's one time. T R O L L Troyboy. I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry to say this real quick, but Handsome Naked has a Troyboy feature coming on, not this coming track, but the track after. So keep your eye for that. 
And, and Troy Boy, what's that new uh, that new joint you got out? And Troy Boy got a handsome naked feature popping in March, actually. How about that? That new joint I got out? Yeah, that got Pity Party on it. I got an EP out called Saudade. Me and Brad Kemp are already working on the follow-up. That's going to be out January 26th. That's some exclusive information right there for you real quick. Breaking off one time. Gang, gang, gang. And speaking Rock. of breaking it off, it's time for Handsome Naked Live, y'all. Let's get it popping in on the land. Derek, as we always say about this time, break us off. Handsome naked on Instagram. Yeah. And we know all about the art of uh-huh. photo y'all. Photo bomb. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to let them know how you do it. We know the pose. You a beast. Handsome naked. Yeah. Hurt some men. No, give up. And push your boobs up. That's me in the back. Not giving a what. Try to be cute. Well, try a little harder. Short skirt and leather boots. And Bitty your father. Wanna be noticed? Well, notice this. Me right behind you, ruining, ruining your pick. And fellas, fellas, you might be worse. Sucking in the gut in a tight t shirt. Medium. Trying to flex. Fellas. Think you're showing your gun. Trying to flex. Think you're showing your gun. You turn impressive. You think you're going your gun. Unimpressive and full of no one. So before you pose and look over your shoulder, you see me voguing in every photo. They all gonna know who I am. Face all over Instagram. All the bras. That's right. And I'm next to I'm at Eric underscore in. It's a horrible pose. Yeah. No, it's a good one, I promise. People love that name. Yeah. Yo. Click, click, boom, photo bomb you like that background of your Instagram where I'm my face like a mask. Doing a stupid dance with a dumb hat to match. Doesn't matter in your party, but I snuck in the back. That's me, the guy with the eye patch. I'm in every picture from your special day, the whole batch. I don't care if you don't think it's clever. Doesn't matter, cause I'm in your memories forever. Acting creepy in the background, call it Heath Ledger. Ties with me, get severed, I'm photo bombing whoever. Ties with me, get severed, I'm photo bombing whoever. Ties with me, get severed, I'm photo bombing whoever. Whenever, wherever, whatever you're up to. I'm a show up and steal your moment from you. It's not a crime, uh-uh. it's an honor. Yeah, yeah. President Barack Photo Obama. <laughs> Boy, y'all some professionals out here on the land. Okay, I, I really appreciate it. Let's go around the room for some final thoughts. By the way, that was photo bombing. Let me let y'all know what song that was. Word to the mommy, hot fire, okay? I'm talking lava sauce straight out of a volcano erupting in Hawaii. I don't think there are any live volcanoes in Hawaii anymore. But uh, let's go around the room for some final thoughts, please. Anybody? Uh, it? Yes? Subscribe to our YouTube, Bad Waves. Uh, I'm going to be archiving this and many other, all the shows to come. Bad Waves. Anybody else? Anybody else with this room full of people? Anybody Just else? keep 20% whimsy in the Countach, baby. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, yes. Everybody loves a Countach. Uh, uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Got it. Come out to the Elbow Room Tuesday, December 5th for Booth Comedy Hour. It's free. We take donations, but it's free. We might have some free food this time, too. Oh, I love yeah, free food. Yeah. Um, you can come tomorrow night at CIC and see Warren Phoenix Johnson and myself. <laughs> Um, portray some pimps in a very respectful way. <laughs> no, he's not. At Chore Boy Raps, and I want you to keep your 420 weekend free, and I'm telling you early. Word said a mommy. Uh, so, Peter, did you have a thing? Did you already say a thing? I know you said something, but I don't know if it was the thing you wanted to say. And I'm Peter. Great. Uh, as era Chucho Perez once said, we will be at Pimprov tomorrow, 10.30 p.m., ladies and gentlemen. Come check us out. We're going to be acting a fool of Fools Nathaniel to you. I don't know if that works the same way. Uh, and for my final thought of the day, uh, I, will say the, I will say the thing that I tried to say earlier, and I'll say it correctly. The Asiatic black man backhand is backhandling business, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, if you didn't curse, uh, but you described something really disgustingly, it's not cursing. Shout out to the FCC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Bastards All Day. Bad Waves on 1680 AM, Q4 Radio. That's Q4.org. For the last time today, Derek, break us off. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ha. 
Mike. Uh, what's who? It's fish and bad yeah. skin. It's kitchen basket. It's kitchen basket. It's kitchen basket. It's kitchen basket. And if you're talk, I'm about to turn this blow. Couldn't go pro on the hardwood flow. I'm king of the kitchen linoleum, though. Jumping all day, cause I'm inside level like the NBA. Four steps, no travel. Oh my god, his moves are nuts. Gotcha, him, God. Cross you up. Stand by the oven, ready to catch. I'll hit you with the J-Dub elbow pad. Use the island as a picture. Screen your defender. I'm the spit killer, Reggie Miller. Burner from the burner on the stove. Brick berry underhand. Free throws. Come to the hoop. Get checked to the wall. This old school Charles Oakley basketball. Ball. Crab dribble, Euro step, dream shake. I'm Vinny Johnson, aka the microwave. It's kitchen basket. Oh, it's kitchen basket. Oh, it's kitchen basket. I like this one. It's kitchen basket. See me in this kitchen, division, envision, precision, delicious, technician, condition, but is you? Domestic linguistics, excellent the right hand, now I'm switching to the left, while the right one dishes some dishes to the dishwasher, man, I'm so vicious, shaking and baking, lead them ankles aching, and a foot loose, my shit like Kevin Bacon, dude, right crossed over, cross the turn the stove up, higher, he's on fire, even though it ain't gas, it's electric on that ass, kitchen ball hog. With the eggshell, hit nothing but trash. I done cooked and cleaned yeah. with my team. You ain't seen a kitchen name. It's fish. Oh, it's kitchen basket. Oh, it's kitchen basket. Oh, it's kitchen basket. Oh, Sports specs on like I'm Horace Grant. I'm marked by the fridge in a perfect triple threat stance where the kitchen counter ends is the line for threes. On D, I'm swatting everything. Brian, big country reach. My kitchen, my rim to defend. Any shot goes up. Blah, blatant goaltend. Blatant goaltend. Blatant goaltend. Nothing's funnier than a blatant goaltend. When I take up for the rim, I pretend I'm suspended. Kitchen ball and I'm a trash talker Jacking up bad shots, call me Antoine Walker Doesn't matter because there's no recourse Even if you miss all your free throws Truth is, we don't even really shoot Those only bad thing you can do is break the back It's kitchen basket Oh, it's kitchen basket Oh, it's kitchen basket Oh, it's kitchen basket snake.